Yeah, well, that's right. There's going to be public comment. Then there's going to be more discussion about a number of amendments. And we don't expect a vote until later this afternoon. Now, one of the things that council is proposing, what they're looking at, is eliminating 100 police officer positions. You've heard the mayor and the police chief say that if that happens, they would have to do layoffs in accordance with the public safety civil service rule, which means it would have to happen in reverse order of seniority. And they say that means new and diverse recruits would be the first to go. Here's what the council president had to say about that. The mayor paints a picture that the council is interested in eliminating diverse recruits and that those would be the first to go. But the mayor's assertion that there is no way to avoid laying off diverse recruits is simply untrue. Council is asking that the police chief request authorization to lay off officers in a different order. The mayor and chief have said there could be legal challenges with that. Council's also considering eliminating police staffing for the navigation team, eliminating school resource officers, cutting specialized units, and reducing the pay of some police commanders, including the police chief. The president of the South Seattle Crime Prevention Council is concerned that these proposed cuts could hurt community programs, like one a detective developed to connect with the youth in communities hard hit by crime. Detective Cookie, who does a chess club, is so trusted by the kids in our community that they've told her about a potential gang war and she's been able to intervene and stop it so that no one is is shot and hurt or killed back out live you might be able to notice that blue ribbon that's right in front of city hall you know this is the location where there were rallies yesterday rally to defend seattle police department and they also had people out here calling for the police department to be defunded now last month Council appeared to have a veto proof majority in favor of cutting SPD's budget. Seven out of nine council members had expressed support for defunding by 50%. But what we're talking about for this year is nowhere close to 50%. They're looking at about $3 million worth of cuts. And like we said, expecting a vote later today. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. All right, well, we're watching that closely. Thank you very much, Natalie.